I'll let everybody know. 22 weeks. 22 weeks it's taken for my injury on my left arm and my right. My right repaired in about four weeks, but my left arm, 22 weeks. That was lifting a lot of weight at, uh, in Newbury. Um, doing a bar curl um, with a lot of weight on it and it, and it just snapped. Something like a tendon or a muscle uh, wrenched it. Um, couldn't even pick up a piece of paper in the hand. But I'm back. <laughs> I'm so happy. I just, just, just the Chris just uh, spotted me to do a, just a little curl. But I'm back to similar weight. So I am a happy chappy in the gym. Uh, done chest. Now I'm working on my arms, but they are back to strength. So I'm a happy chappy. Catch you later. Right, back from the gym. That was. That was dirty. No, it was filthy. No, that was disgusting, that pump today. Golly, back in the groove. Been out of it. Who wants to play? You little fella, had a haircut yesterday. Look, you look so beautiful, huh? Yeah? I don't know if Rita's let anybody know, but I was in the pool yesterday. It was so hot, I had to, I had to get in there. It's not too bad once you're in there, like any pool, but it's, uh, it was cold, it was cold to start with. But it's not very deep. I want you guys to um, tell you what you think when you're out here, but it's a major operation to make it deeper, but fun. So Ted's pulling me, as you see, he's a little monkey. Yeah, he's just with me. He's been waiting for me to come home. Hey, little fella, here he is. Right, so today is poor day, stage one. We're gonna do the first half of the wall. But, uh, First half of the wall, going in, that's been done at the right height. These guys will follow it, uh, put a poker in it. Yeah, the poker's there. And then they take the air out, as I explained before. That'll leave a nice area. The foundation for the uh, stairs is in, the steps that lead up. So it's a busy day. Machine, I don't know where the machine is, but I've got Billy over there because I Ask the machine to take down the, the road wall, even though I haven't got planning permission. I just can't can't deal with them at the moment. They're just so slow about doing everything. So the wall's down. Williams with Billy, and they're uh, they're going to sort out the foundations. The machine's done its bit there. Um, the wall. I'll come. I'm just going to uh, turn this off, and then I'll come back to you. All right, back again. I just got to the uh, top of the tape top of the site um, you can see now that the, the wall has done as much as they can machines moved um, got a real problem with the amount of lorries are on to deliver stone to me um, trying to get this sorted but I can't even hire lorries to do it um, it's just becoming a bit of a pain I need them I need more lorries I need more stone um, so about to stop here can't a lorry load of smaller stones a bit on top of the wall. Um, the guys have done the concrete. So they've poured the first section of the wall. The second section will be around the steps and we finish that bit off. Uh, 27 degrees today, no wind. It's starting to feel really hot. Um, so the boys are now down at the bottom there. Um, we've also finished off the fence now. Put the last bit of posts in at the top. Uh, you see that where the bamboo was. Where I am, where the bamboo was. Um, so now that that will hopefully be finished. So that's now most of the site, most of the area now, cordoned off from uh, other animals. There is a bit of fence to be done right down the bottom here. Um, still, the dog from the neighbours is getting in. It's not a problem, but just want to. Um, just want to stop ingress and egress from the, from the site unless we control it. Um, so that's good. Right, we're just going to pop over now to show you what we're doing over by the main road. So right, back with the wall now. As you can see, I've uh, taken the wall down. I haven't got planning permission. Just can't be asked with what that goes on up at the uh, town council. 
So yeah, it's gonna walk up now. So these pillars, pillars we will keep in the exact same position. We're gonna keep everything as it was. We're gonna render those. And then we're gonna tidy up this fence. And then we're gonna grow up stuff up the fence. So, taking the foundations, existing foundations were stone, big lumps of stone. We're gonna keep, pretty much keep those foundations as they are. And then on top of it, put some more foundation, reinforced concrete. It shouldn't move. It's going to take a little bit of the soil. So, and it's obviously got the palm trees growing. So we don't want it to, we want it to move. If it was just brick, it may well start to move later on. That goes right up to the end. And then that'll be rendered, finished as it is. Keep the fence. We're not going to splash out on another fence. We're going to keep this, we're going to put the new fence up, but it'll be the wired fence. And that wire fence then will grow up jasmine, oleander, and uh, of course the palm trees, which are so desperate to get in, so desperate to get them established and growing before the sun, or it's up to 30, 35. Oh yeah, this is just coming to our land. <laughs> That's a neighbor's dog. Oh, there's another one, look. <laughs> They're coming to say hello, we're looking for Ted. <laughs> That's from the house at the bottom. <laughs> They <laughs> pop up, a little bit scared, a bit like Ted really, a little bit scared. Right, main gate, so Billy's now on that. He's finished that gate, I'm keeping Billy so, so busy. Um, it's a massive help to me here, very knowledgeable. So what's gonna happen now is the gate is obviously black railings, this is gonna be supported. This gate is in a bit of a need of repair, as I've probably explained to you before, but this is how serious the repair is. The gate, I think, is actually moving. It might have been hit, I don't know, but it's in desperate need of repair. And if you can see up there, I don't know if you can see, but up there, the steels, the big steels here are bending under the strain. It's not good practice to do a flat plate on top of a curved column. You have to put triangle pieces or wedges, that's okay, to support the weight. Normally you build a case, like a, a, a square unit, but anyway. So, in order to, this bit here, this wall here, knocking this down and going to build a half height wall with a pier at the end. Half height wall, where am I? Yeah, half height wall and a pier at the end. So that breeze we've got will go, which will match this side, a little bit lower than this side. This is a bit of a retaining wall. And then the fence above at the top, we'll take that out and that then will be black railings. Maybe similar to these railings. I don't know yet. The gate, try and keep it in keeping. So that side, and similarly this side. A little brick on top of the wall, as it is there now. Structure a little bit lower. Uh, and then we'll render up the other side of the, the gate. And then I've got Tim coming in tomorrow. It's all happening here. Tim's coming in tomorrow and he's going to put in a new trench down the drive for the new electricity cable because I'm going to put this cable here and the wire cable, or a new wire probably, and new electricity in the duct. And I'll join it onto a fuse board out here, which will control the electric gates, also control power to the house so they don't have to disconnect in the house. And then that will come over, you see that wire there, it comes similar to that. It will come down our block work um, and then along the trench. And then we'll build a duct underneath the drive, underneath the drive here. And then we'll take the iron uh, gates off. We'll reconfigure the hinges so it opens inwards and then we'll electrify it and then we can open it up. Not, not planning on doing the driveway now. I've got a lot, well, I want to do the driveway, I don't want to do the driveway. I want to do the driveway because these walls here are falling down because the drive's moving. Um, but it means taking this wall down here as well, Rita's Roses. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll put the drive in, which is reinforced concrete, and then I'll build these walls back on top of the reinforced concrete. It just saves me having to do the foundation and a little bit of extra work probably make a little bit of a raft at the end. So it's a, a thickening, as they call it, on the edge of the slab to take the wall. But it won't be a lot of weight. 
once I put the duct in and the new electricity cable in, we then disconnect from the mains and reconnect to our new fuse boards and everything else like that. So I'm gonna to have to put a brand new cable in because obviously I can't leave the house without power by, 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 by you know disconnecting and putting a new cable in the ground and then connecting it up. It's just gonna take too much time. It's probably gonna take a couple of days. So I have to leave that cable there, put a new cable in, new duct, and then disconnect and reconnect. What's going on now? Granddad Bob and Nanny Val have gone back to England today. Had them for a month. Fantastic time with them. Dad's worked so hard. Um, 82 years old and he's painted all of the balustrade. He's helped decorate the new chair we've got. Sorry, new, the new uh, coffee table we've installed, we've, we've refurbished in the house. Loads of help, great time, good laugh, and uh, I'm ashamed to see him go back to England. Um, I'm looking forward to him coming out here in July, but by all accounts he may not, because Val is concerned about the heat uh, and the amount of people <laughs> at the villa. But uh, I'm so desperate for him to come back out again, and I'm so looking forward to seeing everybody out here in July. That's it, catch you later.